neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Missouri has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He'll return it from the four-yard line. At the 30, he's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. The Tigers right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game, and they've been waiting all week, and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Just let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff throws the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He scrambled. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. Picks up about nine on the scramble. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. They shredded the defense with the option run there. That's a big game to keep this drive going. The 10. Man wide open, and it's the tight end. And they make the stop at the three-yard line. We've got second and goal. Ball on the three. Touchdown, Clemson! Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 58-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-0. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Slings it. Tackle around the 35-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they finally push him out at the 32-yard line. What a run by the quarterback. Boy, this guy is dangerous. He can hurt you by running or throwing. There you can see how talented he is as a runner. The play breaks down. He didn't panic or get flustered. He just tucks it in and picks up a nice game. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From the 35-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. They hook up over the middle. 
He's taken down at the 13-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And he's taken down right around the four-yard line. Touchdown, Tigers! That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 75-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Missouri to kick. And he'll return this one from the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And down he goes, around the 44-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. In trouble. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. And he's going to come up with a sack. A great defensive end in college football just bends his ears back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He takes it in at the 14. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Got a man open. Bad pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He makes it to the 28-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he's scrambling. Good tackle there in space. Picks up five on the scramble. The Tigers quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. to the tight end. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. He 
fights forward to about the 36. And he is drilled at the 33. and stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. From the 24-yard line, second down. Big play, and it's first and goal. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. That brings up second and goal. We're all tied up, and more action coming hopefully here in quarter number two. They'll work the left. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. So here we go. It's third and goal, and they're trying to break the tie. Defense and their short yardage package. On the run, and he's not going to get there. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the seven. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he tackles him hard at the 31. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Scrambling around. And he hits him hard at the 46. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. to about the 41-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And he's tackled at the 14-yard line. Number 21 on the tackle at the 14-yard line. First down. He's under pressure. Slides down. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Easy, easy. Back 
hold after a decent pickup. That's a decent That makes it first and goal. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Look at his scramble out. He can't get away from the pressure. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. Now he's flushed and they got it. Missouri is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets out to around the 35. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Throws complete. Big loss. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. play here by the quarterback making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score that receiver was so wide open as a quarterback you just don't want to blow it. that's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you and you go up and you miss a layup you don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback so the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver and he converts the extra point Clemson gets set to kick this one away He'll return it from the three. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he 
throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. And he's level at the 30. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Missouri's going to have to use their second time out of the half. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Caught by the back. First down. Tackle around the 26-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Now he tries to buy some time. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. It's up, and it splits the uprights. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ballgame. 17-13, Tiger. Good as the first, just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime will allow these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's taken down at the 27. A little toss across the middle. He's to the 40. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. Go! 
Throws complete. He's got room to work. Slings it. That's a great tackle at the 20. That brings up second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 20 yard line. Inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Missouri. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Missouri to kick. From the eight yard line. And he's tackled at the 30 yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. From their own 30-yard line, second down. drive for this offense. You've got to believe the offensive coordinator, really the entire offensive staff, they're going to try to huddle up with this offense, try to make sure everybody's on the same page, try to forget about that last drive, and let's try to find some confidence and try to establish something here in this next series. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. Missouri is up by three. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. it out to maybe the 30-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's to the 40. Keeps his eye on it. Makes the catch. Brought down at the 44. Third 
Murray. And he is drilled at the 24-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. It's second and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line. Touchdown, Clemson! the extra point. Clemson ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's on the run. Now he shows his running ability. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Carries the ball for a nice game. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. They'll bring him down around the 36 yard line. First down. his way to about the 22. Game 14 yards. First down. Defense. Mike Rowe! Mike Rowe! Great two! Oh, 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 oh. Big play and it's first and goal. Game 16. That makes it first and goal. He's hit immediately. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Second down and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Caught at the eight. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake.
He makes his way to about the 45. Seven twenty four, Missouri. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Gets out to around the thirty five. his way out to about the 25. Steps up and goes down. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. This is the eighth play of this drive. Play of the drive. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Very good tackle in space. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and he's got it. Big, big kick. It's up to the defense now to make some plays and hold on to this lead. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From the seven. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. He's got an opening. Good outside run there. There's a strike complete. Tackle around the 48-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First down grab by the receiver, and he's taken down around the 30-yard line. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Hey, two. 
Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. And he's level at the 31-yard line. The screen is good for four. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Looks to him again, complete. He goes out of bounds around the 21-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He's hit and taken down. He scrambled. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. My 12, my 12, they killed He's taken down around the three yard line. That brings him second and goal. And he's stopped behind the line. Two minutes to go in this football game. The short yardage defense here. Nice run, and he's brought down. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. He gets it up, and it is good. like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. Clemson's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here. It looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Just under two to go in the game. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. From their own 27-yard line, second down. And he just gets rid of it. Accepted. And down he goes around the 45 yard line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Lost the ball, football, the defense scoops it up. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 46. 
just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's going left. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Let's it fly. Tackle made right around the 18-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled around the 15-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 15-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Caught with room to work. That's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. The kick is away. And they tack on three points. Like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 37. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game, a tied football game, and the question now is who's going to rise to the occasion? He's going to go for the home run. Can't connect. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Short pass, middle of the field, and he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. Missouri is going to use their first time out of the half here. They'll spread the field with five wide. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? The halfback with a carry. He's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Now he tries to buy some time, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure making this quarterback feel him and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick out to his receiver. Locked down right around the 12-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Now he's scrambling. 
Now he's going to run and watch out. Touchdown, Mizzou. Well, this is what it's all about in college football. I score. Now we'll see if you can respond. Great teams always find a way to come through. And he converts the extra point. From the 25-yard line, first down. a great tackle to 32 yard line. especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. He's out of bounds, right around the 26-yard line. it go. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. So this one goes final. A hard fought and close game. Missouri, 37. Clemson, 30. And the Clemson Tigers, 30. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.